It's a British tradition on Christmas Day for the Queen to deliver a televised Christmas message to all of her subjects. This year, her madge was kind of upstaged by a plucky upstart named Edward Snowden. Snowden's alternative Christmas message was broadcast on Great Britain's Channel 4. Take a look. Recently, we learned that our governments, working in concert, have created a system of worldwide mass surveillance, watching everything we do. Great Britain's George Orwell warned us of the danger of this kind of information. The types of collection in the book, microphones and video cameras, TVs that watch us, are nothing compared to what we have available today. End mass surveillance and remind the government that if it really wants to know how we feel, asking is always cheaper than spying. Words came just a day after the Washington Post revealed that he was satisfied with the outcome of the NSA surveillance leaks. I, you know, I think the most interesting thing about this message, I mean, the, the fact that it exists is, is, is interesting. Um, but, but the point he makes about halfway through where he says, you know, this isn't just a, a government issue. This is, this is about how human beings interact with, with technology and new technology and the types of technology that, are, that, are, that is available now uh, far outstrips anything that George Orwell conceived of in 1984. Uh, and, and so to actually get the, you know, the, this, this notion of privacy uh, right, we, we have to not only look to how governments use technology, but how human beings actually interact with it. And I think that's a much thornier question. You know, Snowden's done a great job alerting the public to, to what the government has been up to. Uh, you know, the United States government was lying to its own people about, about what it was up to. Uh, and, and so that's, that's a great service. But I think it's a lot harder to figure out how, you know, not just politically, but socially, human beings come, come to coexist with this type of technology because it's, it's you know, the, 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 the wave of innovation is not going to retreat. We're not going to all of a sudden see everybody wake up one day and say, you know what, uh, I'm, ti I'm tired of Twitter. I'm tired of smartphones. I don't like the direction things are going in. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to be a hippie and live on the beach all the time uh, with, you know, with, with my family. Uh, so I, I think that was that was a good point. There, there's there's a lot of uh, of social movement uh, left to happen on this front. Yeah, I mean it's also tricky to know if you're a libertarian, if you believe in the maximum amount of freedom that's compatible uh, with a stable society. Then it's interesting once you start bumping up against these private uses of privacy, right? And I'd be interested to hear Snowden, uh, you know, talk a little bit more about that because it, well, if you've got a world where everyone's walking around with Google wearing Google Glass that's identifying people wherever they are, that does bump into people's legitimate right to be able to walk down the street without everybody knowing absolutely everything about them and being data mined, you know, what, what right. do you think? Is there another Edward Snowden coming along to kind of address those sorts of problems? I mean, I, I, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the, the price that Edward Snowden has paid uh, for, for, for bringing the, these, these, you know, these government documents to light has been, has been pretty serious. He's, he's stuck in Moscow right now hoping to get out, and it's not clear when or, or if he will. Um, it, it, when, when you take on large corporations, you don't necessarily face the same types of, uh, of, of the sort of global, uh, let's say, let, they, they just don't have the, the same level of power that the governments have. But, but it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, and I think you know, the, the, the main point he said there when he talks about the, these technologies and then government's ability to regulate them, I go, that's not really what, what Snowden's documents have been talking about. Snowden's mm. documents have been talking about this bizarre cabal between governments and technology companies. Uh, you, you would think that if, if technology companies had access to these, th these things that were problematic, you would want to see the government rein them in rather than run away. Uh, unfortunately, we've just seen the government sort of exploit these companies and these technologies uh, ra rather than, than, uh, than try, to, try, try to bend them for, for the greater good.